that's the pond back there guys nothing but dirt nothing we can do about it but next week we are supposed to get a lot of rain so we're trying to get out projects done as fast as we can this week get everything knocked out and have the goats come out here and start living Good morning guys it was a long night last night we have had rain all day long uh, more rain than we could probably handle over here right now my pond up here in the front is over 100 full it was even worse last night the water started going back down again but this thing is all the way up over my palm trees over here it was halfway up here last night the water did go down a little bit but we are expecting more rain today see the wind is starting to pick up there goes Matt right there, <laughs> just getting back from work. Uh, he probably had to drive in this crap last night, but speaking of last night, we had a, a tornado warning. I got a message on Facebook from one of my buddies. Uh, it was actually a little brother of one of the guys I went to school with. He does storm chasing, and uh, he said that there was a tornado warning for Rivera down here, and I got on the Weather Channel, and it was right over us. Uh, all I know is that Daisy uh, was pretty much freaking out inside the house. Tucker was under the bed and Baxter was on top of the bed shaking, but not much we could do. It did get very windy, had a lot of rain dumped at one, one time, and uh, it blew my solar panel down into the pond, so I had to get that out as well. But you think this is crazy, check out the main pond. If y'all saw on my last video, that pond was bone dry. I'm actually surprised the rain stopped right now, but it's supposed to be picking up here in a little bit, so I figured I'd come out real quick and show y'all an update on everything out here. But my entire yard is pretty much underwater in different spots it just is what it is uh, there's only so much water you can handle at one time and sorry if i'm almost slipping out here but it sounds like some kind of alarm going off up here i don't know where it's coming from but some kind of alarm but yeah overall we had one leak inside the house uh it was after that tornado warning came through it blew part of the tar paper over and some water started getting in so we'll have to get that fixed here very soon but check this out guys like i said this pond was completely empty yesterday this tells you how much rain we've had in just one day it is pretty much wrapped almost all the way around the island now uh, this is probably the most water i've seen in the pond uh, since that last tropical storm that we had that came through uh, luckily for us the tropical storm hit in mexico but we got the northern end of all the rain and a little bit of the wind. Uh, I absolutely love the way it looks out here with water in the pond. We can finally say we have a pond instead of a, a dirt hole in the backyard. But one of the things last night I had to check in on all the goats. After that, uh, the storm warning went away, the tornado warning, I went outside in the front yard. We have a lot of drainage coming under the roadway, which goes around the, the west side of my property and feeds the lake over here or the pond. And uh, there was a bunch of debris and stuff out there. It was raining. I called dad and just made sure they were okay. And then I saw the power company was out at the neighbor's house trying to uh, get the power back on or something over there. So anyways, I pulled out a bunch of the debris, cleaned up the fence line. I had to turn off the electric fence. I didn't want to get shocked. And uh, then I came out here and checked on the goats. I should have cleaned up a little bit more out here, but what are you gonna do, right? But uh, the goats, their section is a little underwater back here. I need to go ahead and move their feed back under the, the cover over there so it doesn't get too wet out here. But they're all huddled up in here. We have 11 goats and they're all in this one little section all huddled up right now. 
uh, they do stay out here as well but uh, it's been an eventful day I'll just say that I'm gonna try to walk out here in the pond area without slipping holy cow it dug out a huge rut over this shows you how powerful the the storm was and how much water we had in such a short period of time all this stuff was graded I'm trying to walk slow guys I'm starting to walk like Joe Biden but all the water is draining off from over there it started eating out right here eroding away looks like a little waterfall just feeding the pond this gap over here is probably a foot deep at least whoa, 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 whoa. I'm almost slipping but you can just see just how much it ate out over here and it's feeding the pond uh, like I said we probably got I'm gonna guess four or five inches of rain easy now that's just me guessing but uh, all these willow trees I'll put along here as well are gonna get a nice good soaking looks like there's a cat over there yeah it's alive I'll just making sure but it's crazy how this is just flowing down into the pond it actually worked out perfectly uh, this is the reason why we did this so when it does flood we get a lot of rain at one time it'll flow directly into the pond and then when the pond fills up it'll start backfilling back this way and around my property we built this up over here a good I don't know three feet or so easy I'm gonna try to cross this little ravine here <laughs> this is nuts I've never seen it like this hopefully it'll, whoa I'm not joking when I said it's slippery out here. Sure hope I don't bust my ass and drop my camera. Yeah, I'm not gonna risk that. It's too slippery. Holy cow. And I ain't trying to exaggerate either how slippery it is. I'm also in Crocs, so that doesn't help out. Yeah, I would suspect by the end of today, the water's going to be up covering this section too. Uh, this part of the island's a little bit higher up. Ugh. So it's going to really start backfilling over there towards mom and dad's. I'm going to walk up on the island real quick and see. It's probably, I don't know, a couple of feet deep on the south side of the pond right now. Like I said, we're supposed to be getting rain all throughout the day today. Yesterday was the main day of all the rain and wind. Uh, although we did have a pretty good shower come through just a bit ago. Maybe that's not an alarm. Maybe that's just a bird making that noise. But if it is, it's pretty uh, consistent. Holy cow. The water's all the way up to the island. It's a lot of water dumped in a day's time. Luckily, we went out here and uh, started trying to fix everything up, berming up the the west side over here as well. I hear chainsaws going off in the distance. But yeah, it's about an acre sized pond. That's probably about a, I don't know, maybe a third full. I think at its deepest would be about six or seven feet deep. Just absolutely nuts. We needed rain bad, but we didn't need it this bad. Looks good out here though. Finally have water out here. Now if we can keep it out here, you know how Texas is. It will go months and months without any rain and this water will evaporate really quickly. So hopefully uh, we'll continue to get rain throughout the year and keep this thing full until we can get a, a water well out here. But my plants are absolutely loving it out here. This is what most of my yard looks like just covered in water. Not much you could do. Just let it soak in and just appreciate all the rain. All right, so I went ahead and turned the camera off and jumped this little ravine over here so I didn't bust my ass on camera. But we'll go ahead and go on the uh, south side of the pond over here give you guys a good understanding of what it looks like from the other side towards my place. I didn't sleep very good last night either, but it is what it is. A little windy, so hopefully my camera's not picking up all the wind. I haven't used my external mics in a while, which is my fault, but it is what it is. It'd be good for all the trees we put in out here. They're finally underwater again. The willows and salt cedars I planted 
a few months back around the pond, so this is crazy. <laughs> very much needed though, very much needed. Decent little pond to have in the backyard. Like I said, it's about an acre or so. You see my place back on the other side of the island over there. It's gonna be really cool though when this thing is completely full. We have all the willow trees and stuff uh, matured out here. The same thing with the salt eaters, and we'll have an enclosed pond and be able to come out here and do some bass fishing and some cat fishing. Uh, right now, there's probably some catfish out here. They bury themselves down in the in the mud. They're little mud cats, and then uh, we'll have to stock it later on. But it's gonna be a while before all this water goes down. That's for sure. See that brush pile in the middle of the pond that dad pushed out there? That was the trees that we had cut down in my backyard. We decided to go and push it in the middle for a structure for the fish. And then we have, uh, when they remove mom and dad's pool, some of the rock and stuff back there, the cement chunks, we put them out there as well for two different structures. So, I don't know. Looks pretty cool out here. A little bit different. I'm totally digging it. <laughs> but, yeah, we'll go ahead and head back in real quick. I just wanted to do a quick update out here before it starts raining again just show y'all how much rain we had in a 24-hour period so i'm sure you guys can get on the weather channel if you just search rivera or the corpus area it looks like corpus uh, may have got the brunt of the storm as far as uh, texas goes it looks like they had quite a bit of whoa quite a bit of rain out there so anyways uh what is this some kind of like little salamander or something not a snake there's another one trying to go upstream here. Where is it at? There it is. Where are you at? There you are. There's a bunch of them trying to wiggle the way up this little stream. But yeah, that's a pretty good chunk taken out of the earth right there with the water flowing. But this is exactly how we had it set up. I wasn't expecting it to cut out like that, but once again, that just shows how fast this water is just pumping into this pond with all the uh, overflow from everywhere. All right, guys, there you have it. Uh, just wanted to do a quick video on how Tropical Storm Alberto affected South Texas. This is just my area. Like I said, it hit down in Mexico. Uh, hopefully everybody down there was safe. Hopefully nobody had any damage from the uh, tornado warnings down here in Rivera. Uh, overall, it was a, a long night. Sounds like the goats are finally coming out and gonna do a little bit of eating while they can in between the rain. So anyways, uh, went ahead and put this video out for you guys. I know a lot of you always hit me up asking if everything's okay every time there's a storm. So I'm okay, the family's okay. Everything out here is good. Just a lot of good, good rain that we needed. So anyways, I do appreciate you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I will catch y'all on the next one. Peace.